Right then, Beatrice, um, 60 is what you got in the paper one back in November. It was agonisingly short for um, from the sort of 62 that would have got you a grade C. Anyway, let's see how you get on with this paper two. Okay, you're going to lose a mark there because um, the calculator doesn't know you're working with money, so it doesn't stick in that um, far zero. But because you know you're working in money, you know that you should be writing that as £246.30, so you need to add in that missing zero. And that is correct, so five out of six marks there. 108 is fine, and 32 is good as well. 16, 10, 13, 15, excellent. 7 for the page. 68, 56, 5, 70 are all correct. Uh, that's a nice looking quarter. Uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, 6, 4, 5. Now then, what have we got here? So that's two, that's one. One, eleven, one, two, and twenty-two. You've listed the correct four answers then, but you rubbed two of them out. Okay, it's eleven, one, and two, and twenty-two. There are four of them. So why you've rubbed those out, I don't know. But the fact you have means I can't give you the marks for them. <coughs> right, 7,000 is correct. This to the nearest 10 is either 50 or 60. So it's either 7,460 or 7,450. Because the next number is an 8, it's closer to 60. You have rounded that to the nearest 100. Uh, minus 5 minus 2 is correct. With this one, what you need to be doing is looking at that line and working out where you think the middle bit of it is. Now, one way of doing that is to count how far across and up you have to travel and then half it. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 across. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 up. I mean, six across and six up. To get to the mid, you've got to go three across and three up. So that there is the middle point, and its coordinates are going to be one, four. Two, three, four, five, six for the page. B and G and A and D, well done. S isn't. Um, the net of a cuboid. Um, the ones that are, well first of all you need six faces for a cuboid um, and that's when you got one, two, three, four, five, so that wouldn't fold up. This one will fold up to make um, a sort of Jaffa cake box. Okay, if that one there is the bottom, those are the two ends, that's one side, that's the other side, and then that one comes over and folds on top of it. So P is one, and the other one there that will is V. Although it may, may look odd, it will actually roll up. Um, those sides will roll up and meet, and then that, those two will fold up this way to form the ends. So the two you're looking for there are P and V. Okay. Uh, no, that's not right. Not right at all. You need to be using a protractor to do that one. Okay, so here's your protractor. On this side, um, where you need to draw 98 degrees, you put the centre of the protractor on A, and you always line the zero up along the line that's the bottom. So that is going to take you there. So centre there, zero there. Um, and then you need 98 and you can see here that in order to go up from 0 we're going to go along the inside scale so there's 90 so 98 will take you there draw that line on so your angle is on there somewhere and then 26 degrees you want to put the center now on B 
and you're going to turn it around for the zero to run along the line and now you can see the counting is the outside scale 0 10 20 25 26 is about there and there will be point C For this one you need to use a compass because they're not giving you any angles. Take a look at how I do that on the video clip. 58 is wrong and you haven't given me any method. What you need to be doing there is to take these two off 180 because you should know that there are 180 degrees lying on the straight line. So that's the sum that you have to do. Here that one is right and that one is right but on a rectangle there are no diagonal lines of symmetry if you put if you line it up as i suggest with the mirror line running along for, away from your eyes you will see if you were to put a mirror there that corner would not reflect onto anything on the other side so although you've got the two correct ones the fact that you've got two incorrect ones there mean you get zero and um, 86 pence is fine there 22 cakes and 42 pence left over is very good there so that's eight marks there you should be able to do this um, so take a look at the video clip and see if the way that I do that rings any bells 59 is correct good girl that's right and that's right excellent 28 and 20 is correct uh, 24 and 96 are right but you've then got to say how many times bigger they are so um, four times bigger not enough with what you've done unfortunately to earn you the marks and um, it's perimeter and you haven't worked out the area there at all so you need to work out the area first of all of the bigger and the smaller and then do the same dividing that you've done there so nine for that page <coughs> three is correct eight is correct that is correct that one isn't three times four is negative twelve so that's where you've gone wrong there um, see how I've explained the other ones there on the video clip RPQS good girl three seven marks there well done uh, that's a bearings question again something to have a look at on my clip to see if that's something that you can do and if it is then I suggest you practice it from the Jones the Sum website, look for questions on bearings. Well done with that um, exchange rate question. Okay, that one, and then it looks like you have run out of steam here. Okay, where have we got to here? Right, this method with you is wrong. Um, what you need to be doing here you may not have done this in fact with Mr Osborne um, it is something we're practicing it's called mean of grouped data have a watch how I explain that on the video clip and see if you can follow it and then finally what have we got okay so you go on 1.5 Now these numbers that you're coming out with are wrong and I suspect it's because you aren't using brackets okay the method that you're using is right okay Okay, what you need to be doing, if I just show you, in case you don't watch the video, is where you've got 1.5, You wherever there's an X, you have to use them as brackets. So if you think that that X that way, 
explodes out to make brackets the other way. So you put inside the bracket 1.5 cubed plus 2, there's an x, explode it into a bracket, 1.5 take 5 equals. Okay, that should be 1.375 and so on. So make sure you're using brackets, it's all you're going wrong. Okay, but it's taken, uh, you know, it means that you're only going to get one mark for this question. So, not a bad little attempt there, Beatrice. I don't think you've managed um, as well as you did last November, but, you know, that was uh, a few months ago now. 5, 12, 15, 21, 23, 31, uh, 40, 47, 52, 53. Yeah, so not as good, but you haven't lost that much. 53, you know, you're seven marks from what you got last November, considering you haven't done much maths in the last uh, couple of months, or certainly not past papers, uh, you know, that's not bad. It's a grade D, and I'm saying that's 12 marks away from C. In reality, it's probably a bit less, but that's still quite encouraging at this stage, Beatrice. Well done.